Good day, everyone. This is Alminda Fernandez of the Samal Island City College. And it is my pleasure to present to you the Republic Act number 9512, also known as the National Environmental Awareness and Education Act of 2008. So in this presentation, we are going to talk about the 10 sections of this act, which was uh, approved by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo on December 12, 2008. And we shall um, specify and um, internalize each of these sections. And um, also in this presentation, we will be able to be aware of our role in this act and also to become advocates of uh, for the environment. So first, again, this uh, act was known as the National Environmental Awareness and Education Act of 2008. This is an act which promotes the environmental awareness through environmental education and for other purposes. So um, the, we should know the role of the import of a role in taking care of our environment and also the importance of our environment for our sustainable economic growth. So in the declaration of policy as of section two, consistent with the policy of the state to protect and advance the right of the people and to a balanced and healthy ecology in accord with the rhythm and harmony of nature so as human beings and living organisms, we are in fact um, belong to one ecology and so we should be connected to one another to have a balanced ecosystem. So, and the role also of education to foster patriotism and nationalism in accelerating social progress and promote total human liberation and development. So environmental education is really for everyone, for everywhere around the world. And this not only foster our love for our country, but also our freedom and our progress and development. So the state shall promote national awareness on the role of natural resources for economic growth and the importance of the environmental conservation and ecological balance towards sustained national development. So this is why environmental education is very important. You know? And um, we all know that if we don't take care of our environment, so we litter everywhere, and we just allow the pollutants not to go to destroy our environment. And we all know that most of the pollutants that we are, uh, that are, <clears throat> that are um, already destroying our climate. So that's why we also have, we have the so-called climate change. It's because of uh, the pollutants caused by industries and other, um, and other causes even that includes even agriculture. So we have, we have to <clears throat> face the consequences of climate change that includes the, the rising sea level, <clears throat> the warming of our, of our um, environment that will cause death and uh, loss of loss of um, lands, no? So in section three, the scope of environmental education, it is the Department of Education, the Commission on Higher Education, the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority, and the Department of Social Welfare and Development in coordination with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and the Department of Science and Technology and other relevant agencies are all coordinate as one, not to, 
to be to take part on this advoc advocacy. So they all shall integrate environmental education in its school curricula at all levels, whether public or private. And uh, environmental education means a process of developing awareness, positive attitudes, and a, a will to act in an appropriate manner towards the environment. So we show our love to our environment by respecting uh, our, our plants and also by not littering everywhere, as we all know, our this waste can go as pollutant in our ocean and in, in the air. So this includes uh, in barangay levels to our daycares, preschools, non-formal, technical, vocational, professional level, indigenous learning and out of school youth courses or programs are all included and will take part of this advocacy. So the environmental education shall encompass environmental concepts and principles, environmental laws, and the state of international and local environment. So it's not only nationally, but also internationally, we go green, no? Like uh, going green will somehow by going paperless or minimize the use of paper, since we know that paper comes from trees and we don't want to, to uh, exhaust our trees or forest resources since uh, trees or forest is very important in the, in the recycling of water and in our environment. So we also use smart technologies now using avoid using fossil fuels as source of energy. So we use windmills or, or solar panel generated resources for energy and we do recycling as well. So local environmental best practices and the threats of environmental degradation and its impact on human well-being. So as you can see here, one of the best practices are, are the we recycle when you put the whole picture together recycling is the right thing to do so not only if we still can use some of our waste into something new so we can still recycle them no? so we need to segregate our waste as uh paper glass uh, plastic or metal whether they are also biodegradable are non-biodegradable. So most of the non-biodegradable, like uh, glass, plastic, and metal, uh, if as much as possible, we can reuse them or recycle you know, and uh, reduce the use of plastics that can harm our environment. Since these since this plastics uh, can harm our and can become pollutants to our environment. You know, since this will not readily be degraded you know, for, and it will take them years for it to be decomposed. And uh, unlike if you use uh, woods or um, papers, cardboards, which can easily be degraded. So the responsibility of the citizenry to the environment and the value of conservation, protection, and rehabilitation of natural resources and the environment in the context of sustainable development. So when we say sustainable development, it means efficiently making use of our natural resources without destroying them you know, and with and uh, so if we do not destroy our environment, it can be, it can sustainably produce us with our needs no? or as our resources. So let us help restore our earth. We conserve and we protect. So we had, uh, we had 
celebrated our Earth Day last April 22. And uh, we can help restore our Earth by doing three examples. We have one, first tree growing that has helped rebuild our Mother Earth by planting more trees during Earth Day. And not only Earth Day, but all the rest of the days as much as possible, you know, uh, some days of the week, weekly or monthly. So second, we can do a cleanup drive. So the, the uh, Samal Island City College have just done a cleanup drive in our coastal roads and beaches. So take action to promote clean up drives in our streets, in eco parks and in beaches. Uh, get up and clean up, take a step to protect our earth. So again, congratulations to our faculty and staff of the Samuel Island City College for, for a job well done on their cleanup drive. And third, we have don't drive, save gas. Now, if, if you, as much as possible, let us give our earth a chance for a fresher air and lesser pollution. You can ride your bike if you can, or walk jog or run and be fit on Earth Day, not only on this day, but also all the days of the week or as much as possible every day. So it also shall cover both theoretical and practical modules comprising activities, projects, programs, including but not limited to tree planting, waste minimization, and uh, segregation, recycling, and composting, freshwater and marine conservation, forest management, and conservation. So all of this partake in very important advocacy to take care of our environment. So as you can see here, we have the so-called Go Green Pinas, where spend less, save more, and live better. So the Go Green Pinas was actually uh, a movement that promotes the practice of Go Green approach in the Philippines. This is to empower every Filipino family with the strategies and tools in connections to the sustainable environmental program. Uh, propagate the preservation of the natural environment through the three R's of environment, namely reduce, reuse, and recycle campaign. So Go Green Pinas in, is an all around guide for all Filipinos to take steps towards transforming lives in an eco-friendly lifestyle. So let's go green and let's do the Go Green Pinas. So be a good green advocate and help preserve our environment. Every little things you do to take care of our earth can make a difference. We just have to start now and kaya natin to, kaya ko to. So Pinoy tayo, Pinoy, ta, Pinoy ka, Pinoy ako. So we also think Earth to teach students conserve natural resources and reduce waste and minimize pollution. So. Uh, also relevant livelihood opportunities and economic benefits and other such programs and undertakings to aid the implementation of the different environmental protection law. So as we all know, everything comes from the environment, no? the agriculture, the food, the aquatic resources, the water, and um, it, all the industries not are coming from our environment and it is only due that we take care of our environment to make it sustainable for our own economic growth. So in the section four in a man is the environmental education and activities as part of the national service training program or our NSTP. So the commission and education and TESDA shall include environmental education and awareness programs and activities in the national service training program under the republic act 
number 9163 as part of the civic welfare training service component required for all the baccalaureate degree courses and vocational courses with a curriculum of at least two years. So lahat, you know, from kinders to colleges and so even graduate schools or uh, two years vocational courses must take part in educating ourselves and being aware of our role and taking care of our environment. So again, we have the three R's the reduction of usage of the resources that includes electricity and water and the reuse or repetitive use of container for of glasses and plastics on metals as much as possible and recycle or reutilize a raw material or energy for another or new uh, new things so also, based on the Section 5 of the Republic Act 9512, which is the National Environmental Awareness and Education Act of 2008, the month of November is the National Environmental Awareness Month. So in Section 6, the interagency and multi-sectoral effort the DepEd, the CHED, TESDA, DENR, DOSD, and other relevant agencies in consultation with experts on the environment and the academe shall lead in the implementation of public education and awareness programs on environmental protection and conservation through collaborative interagency and multi-sectoral effort at all levels. So we all take part of this and remember the three R's of environment, reuse, reduce, and recycle. So the Department of Natural Resources shall have the primary responsibility of periodically informing all agencies concerned on the current environmental updates, including identifying priority environmental education issues for national action and providing strategic advice on the environmental education activities. So we are all led by the DNR. So as one planet, one nation, sustaining green actions for a safer climate. So we have this, the so-called National Environmental Awareness Month every November and National Clean Air Month and National Climate Change Consciousness Week. So the Department of Education also, Commission on Higher Education, TESDA, DNR, DOST, DSWD, and all the barangay units shall ensure that the information is disseminated to the subject students. And the Department of Science and Technology is also mandated to create programs that will ensure the students receive science-based quality information on environmental issues to encourage the development of environment-friendly solutions, divided devices, equipment, and facilities. So with Go Green, we also think green. So uh, the, the Department of Science and Technology are also um, leading in the creation of equipment and facilities that are smarter technologies, you know, like the use of windmills and solar panels as sources of sustainable sources of energy. And even um, we are in the future, we are, although we already have started electric cars as well, and in the future we can, um, we can have um, buildings that are run by smart technologies like, like um, solar panels. No? So in section seven, the capacity building, the, Dep the Department of Education, CHED and TESTA in coordination with the DENR and other relevant agencies shall also undertake capacity building program 
nationwide, such as training, seminars, workshops, and on environmental education. So even at home, no, you can do Earth Day at home by having this list, like stop using plastic, segregate your waste and start recycling, use resources wisely, save water and electricity, pick your dry waste and do eco brick bottles, for example, or do home gardening and try composting. So what are you waiting for? You can start anytime. And also the development and production of environmental education materials and teacher education courses and related livelihood program. So we teach everyone, we teach our community, we teach our students to be eco-friendly um, and also um, using biodegradable, more of natural resources and, and growing organic foods, for instance. So let's go green right away. So I have here also a song which is about taking care of our planet by going green. So I like this song because it will help us remember to be always, to, to be cautious and always take care of our surroundings and environment. So let's- Monster um, Math presents edition below 10. Okay class, let's begin. So let's enjoy We're going green. We're going green. We're gonna take care of the earth. We're going green. You can go green at your home or school. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. For how long you take a shower You don't need to stand there for 70 hours Turn off the water when you're brushing your teeth And only use the necessary energy Turn off the lights when they're not in use Think how much electricity you produce Take quick drinks, walk to school Reducing energy is really cool Pull out plugs when you're not using them Turn off the computer every now and then Throw away litter, pick up trash And you'll save the earth in a flash we're going green, we're going green, we're gonna take care of the earth, we're going green. You can go green at your home or school, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reuse stuff when you're out and about. If you can use it again, don't throw it out. Reuse bottles, reuse bags, reuse containers, and reuse rags. Donate toys so someone else can use them. Donate clothes, don't just lose them. We're going green. We're going green. We're gonna take care of the earth. We're going green. You can go green at your home or school, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Recycle! Just throwing away is not enough. Recycle some things to make new stuff, like paper, cans, and plastic too. Glass and cardboard out the wazoo. Game CDs and DVDs, light bulbs, cartridges, and batteries. Laptops, cell phones, and the news. Lots of metals you can choose. We're going green. Okay, so that's it. I hope you like it and not only the song, but I hope you also like to go green starting now. And um, let's help one another and take part of our advocacy to be environmentally helpful and um, advocates of 
of taking care of our environment by by doing our in our li little own ways you no know? just like what you can see what you have seen on the the song what you have heard on the song and have seen on the song uh, that just simply all the household course can can change already our lifestyle you know, of going green so thank you very much for listening and um watching and i hope um i hope we can uh you are already convinced by now and we can start our little own way of of our role in taking care of our environment so if you have questions clarifications and some more information you are very welcome so thank you very much again and uh Thank you for, for listening. <laughs>